First and foremost, I want to give all praise to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Yahweh Kadash. Yahweh is the name of our Heavenly Father. It means He is. Yahweh Shai is the name of His Son. It means He is who saves or He is who redeems. Rukhah Kadash is the name of the Holy Spirit in Hebrew. This is the Wisdom of Solomon, chapter 3, if I can find it. In the sight of the unwise they seemed to die, their departure was taken for misery, and their going from us to be utter destruction, but they are at peace. Oops. For their for though they be punished in the sight of men, yet there is their hope f full of immortality. And having been a little chastised, they shall be greatly rewarded. For God proved them and found them worthy for himself. And this is where we are right now. In Jacob's trouble, you know, in the sight of men, we are going to look like bums. We are going to look like fools, like idiots, like, uh, you know, and I, I, I will... All I can do is give so much praise and honours to um, the elders and apostles and the people out there pushing the words who kind of, you know, I, I walked past them a hundred times before my ear tweaked to, to this truth, you know. So thank you for continually pushing this word, you know, until my, even my own stubborn stiff neck turned. Let's carry on reading. As gold in the furnace has he tried them, and he has re received them as a burnt offering. You see, when you a burnt offering, there's death. You know, it, it, when you when you have a, when you give an offering, um, as in I don't know certain chapters of Leviticus when they talk about offerings, sin offerings and uh, purity offerings and such. The there must be a death. You know, so we are we are. We've been burnt, and uh, and the the old man the 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 old man has been as we have allowed him to die in ourselves. We are dead in Christ. Let's see if I can find something on that. And uh, this is Peter, um, First Peter, chapter two, verse twenty four. Who his health bear our sins in his own body on the tree, that we being dead to sins should live unto righteousness, by whose stripes we are sealed. So there has to be a death, there has to be a death of the flesh, a death of the old man, a death of the old ways or repentance. Uh, let me have a look at that word in Hebrew for repent. In Hebrew, metanoia, a translation of the means afterthought or beyond thought but meta meaning for beyond it's commonly understood as transformative change of heart especially a spiritual conversion this term suggests a repudiation change of mind repentance and atonement but conversion and reformation might best approximate its connotation um, let's just have a look I think that's enough of that you know, it's a change in the heart, a change in the mind and a change in the heart. It's a complete turning around. And I was hoping it would say something like reborn or reference something along the lines of um, of death. You know, death of the old way, but I don't think it does. Transfiguration. A mighty change in heart. You know, contrition and sorrow. Anyway, going back to where we were. Yeah, so, so we are dead. We're dead to, to, to our sins, you know, and that's how we can be born again. There has to be a death first, you know. This is the way we. This is the path. Really. There has to be a, 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 an initial death. Let me go back to the wisdom of Solomon, which is what I was originally looking at. Wisdom of Solomon, chapter three. Uh, so as gold in the furnace has he tried them and received them as a burnt offering and in the time of their visitation they shall shine and run to and fro like sparks among the stubbles everybody 
in the time when of the visitation which is the time of trouble we are we're set to shine they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people and their lord shall reign forever this is what we're talking about this is the time that we're coming to they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth and such as be faithful in love shall abide with him for grace and mercy is in is to his saints and he hath care for his elect but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the lord for whosoever despises wisdom and nurture he is miserable and their hope is in vain their labours unfruitful and their works unprofitable their wives are foolish and their children wicked their offspring is cursed wherefore blessed is the barren that is undefiled which hath not known the sinful bed she shall have fruit in the visitation of souls and blessed is the eunuch which with his hands have wrought no iniquity nor imagined wicked things against god for unto him shall be given the special gift of faith and inheritance in the temple of the Lord more and Lord more acceptable to his mind. For glorious is the fruit of good labours, and the root of wisdom shall never fall away. As for the children of adulterers, they shall not come to their perfection, and the seed of an unrighteous bed shall be rooted out. For though they live long, yet shall they be nothing regarded, and their last age shall be without honour. And if they die quickly, they have no hope, neither comfort in the day of trial, for horrible is the end of an unrighteous generation. There's a lot there. There's a lot there. I kind of only wanted to break down um, to being dead in the spirit. But there's a lot there in the wisdom of Solomon. So um, Lord willing, we'll, we'll go into that um, in another lesson. But for now, um, just know that we're going through this as a, to be proved you know in the fire of our iniquity that we've, we've been made you know refined in the fire of our iniquity um of our affliction i should say and um and that it's it's god's plan that we will rise and be more closer to him through that so with that i want to say shalom